Welcome to Roy's Book Reviews. I am Roy, and of course I am here once again to share with you my thoughts about a book that I've read. Hopefully you have seen some of my videos that I have put out so far, but if not, um, welcome to your first video here at Roy's Book Reviews, and hopefully you will enjoy it. I like to start them off with a little music, so that is what you are listening to along with my voice right now, but I don't want to be drowned out by it, so I'll give you a few more seconds, and then on to the review of a novel by Nick Hornby, who is an author I am quite fond of, and this book is called Juliet Naked. Juliet Naked is my favorite of the Nick Hornby books that I've read uh, to date, which is not to say I found it to be um, the best of Nick Hornby stories that I'm familiar with. I place movie adaptations of other Hornby books um, that I haven't read yet um, higher up on my preference list. Uh, to date, there has been no crossover of the two lists. I've seen and greatly enjoyed the movies High Fidelity and About a Boy and Fever Pitch. Um, I haven't read any of those novels yet. I have read How to Be Good, A Long Way Down, and the book I am going to discuss momentarily, Juliet Naked. There have been movies made out of Juliet Naked as well as out of A Long Way Down. I haven't seen either of those movies yet, so I can't compare um, one version to the other in any of the cases of any of the Nick Hornby stories. Eventually, that will change, I'm sure. Um, what do I have to say about Juliet Naked? Um, Nick Hornby, with this book as in with everyone that I've read or seen on film um, likes to write about things that people are passionate about uh, to the point of it being um, borderline unhealthy. Uh, the obsession could be sports, perhaps a, a particular team or a player, or it could be um, music, um, perhaps a particular band or solo artist. Uh, Juliet Naked uh, falls into um, that latter category. Um, it, it tells us a story of a man who is fanatical about a singer-songwriter named Tucker Crow, who has not released an album in 20 years. Um, the last album Tucker released is a musical holy grail to Duncan. He devotes countless hours uh, sharing conspiracy theories about the singer's life and music with fellow Tucker Crow devotees on the internet. Duncan's longtime girlfriend appreciates Tucker's music as well, but she is more or less uh, long for the ride, um, Duncan's singular focus um, ride, um, rather than being quite as obsessed about him as her boyfriend is. It's important, of course, for couples to have a minimum of one hobby, passion, um, interest that they share. Um, it's very, I mean, some couples share a bunch of things in common, uh, but I think it's critical to share at least one, uh, but you don't necessarily have to be both equally into it. And in this case, it is the passion uh, for this singer um, that is sort of the glue that is keeping this couple together, along with the fact that they kind of both stand out in the small town uh, that they are from. They're both a little bit more worldly cosmopolitan than most of the citizens, so a little more educated. So this brings them together and that just they're the two most likely to be compatible. Um, so let me get back to the words that I wrote about Juliet Naked on Goodreads, um, where I said, 
Duncan's longtime girlfriend, as I said, um, is also into Tucker Crow's music. Um, but Duncan and Annie are not especially passionate about each other, um, not nearly as much as they are about this musician. Um, their lack of heat has been the case since the beginning of their relationship rather than the result of affection dwindling over the ravages of time. Uh, over the course of Juliet Naked, um, we, Tucker transitions from being a distant object um, for the two of them um, to theorize about and debate about and things of that nature. Um, to eventually becoming a person that Annie corresponds with via email. And uh, eventually, um, he becomes a flesh and blood person in their lives. Um, they get to meet him and become friends of sort of Tucker, Tucker or Crows. Um, where was I? Annie is by the end of the story, I would say finally ready to form a romantic relationship based on desire rather than convenience of location as he ends up falling for Tucker Crow. Um, as for Tucker, he thinks primarily about himself and the mess he has made of his life while also managing to be a halfway decent father to his youngest child. Duncan, on the other hand, more or less stays the same nutty guy from beginning of the story to the end. Um, towards the end of Juliet Naked, uh, Tucker reflects that a considerable amount of significant events have taken place in a relatively short amount of time, yet he feels mostly unchanged by them. Likewise, I felt mostly unchanged by this book, despite being charmed by it. My favorite reads are, of course, the ones that cause you to divide your life into the period before you read it and the period after. Transformative novels. Juliet Naked, Juliet Naked I have trouble saying that title for some reason, um, wasn't one of those for me, but it was certainly an enjoyable and interesting read, as all um, Nick Hornby, Nick Hornby books have been. Uh, he has a very easy to read style of prose and he comes up with stories that Hollywood seems to find tailor-made to be converted into movies. Whether you're first introduced to them on screen or on page, his characters think about themselves and about others and about their circumstances and their personal obsessions, uh, most of all, in very entertaining fashion. It doesn't much matter what does or does not take place during your visit with characters in a Nick Hornby novel. Uh, you always find yourself glad you stop by. I'm glad I read this book. I'm looking forward to eventually checking out the movie. I'm really looking forward to eventually reading a Nick Hornby book that I truly love and find transformative. Um, something probably along the lines of about a boy, which I thought was a fantastic story, but I have not not read it yet. I've only seen it. I think he has another uh, about a boy um, in him, another high fidelity, um, and hopefully I will get to the book before I get to the movie because it is always my preference when it comes to great stories to experience it on the page first. Um, as probably is the case with many of you, which is why you bother to watch uh, booktube videos. So anyway, that is all I have to say about Nick Hornby's Julia Naked. Um, check it out if you haven't already. Uh, leave me a comment or two um, below this video if um, you have read it and care to share um, your opinions, what you agree with, what you disagree with. Um, my take and happy reading until we next meet.